Hey guys, Guy Crushing on here with another Let's Play Fable Lost Chapters. Team rounds? Well, I was doing fun on my own. Oh god, it can't be. Not. No! No! Why her? Damn it. Stop. Who cares about Whisper? They all came to see me. I mean, I have the prettier armor. I have the coolest sword. Kicked her ass at least twice now. Ah, oh, whatever. She's here. She might as well help me out. Or at least be me. Too. But look at this. This is round three of the arena. And now we're fighting Balverines. Quite a nice time for her to come in, huh? Ooh. But nausea. But the first round starts out with a few regular Balverines. Yeah, of course the big little bitch. Of course, if you still have your silver augmented weapon, this will, this battle will go a little bit faster. Unless you bought a uh, weapon or, you know, got a legendary. You could at this point, you can get quite a few actually. But, um, alright, round two. Even more Valverines. Six, apparently. I have some multi sword because, like I said, it's good crowd control. And of course, Whisper's here, so now she's, you know, keeping one or two of them off my back. If she does kill any of them, though, you don't get experience, though, so try and kill them yourself. Although, you know, if she's gonna kill one, you know, you know, good for you. And I gotta avoid that trap. Haha, <laughs> Whisper got me. Uh -huh. Alright, so, yeah, chopping this one up. She gets hit again. Now this next part is a little bit of a paradox thing. We get six more Balverines and wait for it. Yeah, at this point start pulling out slow time if it becomes too much. Wait is that? Is that a white Balverine? Didn't I just kill one of those things? What the deuce? I, I thought like this is like some weird breeding things going on or something. Or a paradox. You know, let's just for this sake, let's make it a paradox. And it's more fun that way. But, um, yeah, the silver weapon, again, great weapon against these Balverines. So they won't stand much of a chance. Haha, <laughs> let that thing kill it for me. And you still get the experience. Alright, so, alright, one more. And this one should have. Uh, second white Balverine now. So, yeah, we get to fight two. Yeah, seven regular Balverine. Oh no, maybe maybe that's a five. I can't tell. But now it's six brown Balverines and then two whites. Uh, how do you want to do this? It's either your preference. You either um, want to get rid of all the brown ones so you can, um, you know, crowd control, like I said. Or target the white ones so that you get the powerful ones out of the way. Because white Balverines have a bit more power than regular Balverines, and they have a hell lot more health. So yeah. Ooh, there he goes. See, you you can, if you have a slow time three, then you can pretty much whittle away through their health in the middle of the slow time. As long as you don't do um, um, a flourish during it, because, you know, it knocks them down, and then it takes them, like, 15 minutes to get back up. But yeah, the trap. Always try to uh, try and use the traps to your advantage if you can. I mean, if they're like really close, try to keep pushing them into it. Because traps do like, quite a bit of damage, like I said. And it knocks them down, so. Look at that. Valverine round. Complete. And I'll use some potions. But yeah, 1,000 gold. It's 1,600 so far. And I think he's at another 2,000. This is how you get your gold, though. You have to stay out. Otherwise, you don't get a whole lot. Yes, I am awesome. I don't know about her. 
Litchfield Graveyard recently. We'll know what I'm talking about. It's the Undead. The Undead? Three. Two. Something to take notice of. Now, I switched to Inflame here because there are two weaknesses that you can exploit for Undead. One is Silver Weapons. Like the Valverines, they are weak against Silver Weapons. But, well, I'll show it when it eventually comes out. But, um, he said uh, if you've braved the graveyard recently, you'll see these guys. So keep that in mind because we do eventually go there. Why, you ask? Well, Three, I'm not spoiling two, it. You spoil them. Spoil Go! Person. Okay, so the second round, we start getting these uh, bigger uh, undead. And uh, they're slightly more, uh, they're slightly beefy compared to these regular guys. They block more often, too. But, um, they're just undead, though. They're slow. And um, as long as you aren't surrounded by them, you shouldn't really get too much damage. I mean, they're already slow in a slow time. They'll, they'll just slow to a crawl. But you see, look, it landed on the spike thing, and it took me to engage it, which is bullcrap. All right, yeah, I ate an apple there. But third round, four regulars, four big ones. Pretty close to that fan trap. And what sucks about the undead in this set is that when you killed them back in the Grey House, if you remember that one video, you know, they blew up when you killed them. But in the arena, that doesn't happen. They just fall down. Eat, uh, like if they were flourished or something, and yeah. Oh, look at that. They do. Yeah, this is also a good a way to get combat multipliers of the arena. Like, if you have any of the Ages potions, go ahead and use them when you, like, finish off all the enemies. Like, right now, you have a four, I have a 14 times multiplier, so I would get 14,000 experience. Alright, so this one, it's all big guys. Eight of them. And look at that, in flame. That is the second weakness of undead soldiers. They are weak against silver and fire. So if you have a silver and fire augmented weapon, undead better to start running or go back on the ground or whatever. You also see Whisper's other method of attack now. She starts throwing these grenade bomb things. And they're slightly effective. But yet, yeah, knock him down, he won't die. He's got, we've still got six left, so I've only killed two so far. And there goes down another. Yeah, she uses battle charge a lot. Battle charge and the bomb thing. Oh look, some more going down now. Yeah, Whisper's taking out a few of my kills, bitch. And that's it. The undead round. I hope that was worth two thousand gold. It was. They earned 3,600 gold! But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Wow, another 3,000. So we're up to 3,600 now. Quite the haul, don't you say? Whoa, those guys just suck. Uh, I'm not very nervous. Kicking some serious ass. Let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang! Oh no, bandits? Jeez. Three, Sounds two, easy, right? One, Wrong. Go. They don't spawn those sissy bandits. They spawn the red level bandits. These are the ones that can take a few beatings. These are essentially the elite bandits that we saw back in Twin Blades Camp. But, uh, yeah, the first one spawns uh, a few archers and, uh, well, an equal number of archers and soldiers, so. And the archers are pretty annoying. 
in this round. So go after them first. It's like the Hob Mages. Go after them first. Man, how many people have you paid? Alright, round two. We get the regular guys and these chieftains now. And of course, chieftains block like crazed men. So, you know. And I'm not going to have enough time to finish this round, actually. Sad sadly enough. Because I got about 22 seconds left. And there's still two more rounds. And these guys are taking a bit of time. So, this is God Cushion 9. This is me killing some bandits. And when we return, we will finish the rest of the bandit round and earn another 3,000 gold. See you later.